ဒီကိုဒီကိုအလုံးကိုပဲရှာလုံးမင်္ဂလာပါလို့နှုတ်ခုဆက်ခြင်းပါတယ်ဝန်းတာပါတယ်အလုံးကိုဒီလိုတွ
ပါတာရေးအကြောင်းပြောတဲ့ခရစ်တော်အကြောင်းကိုပြောတာတာနာလုပ်ငန်းလုပ်တဲ့အချိန်မှာအမျိုးသမီးတွေကိုအခါန
အမျိုးသမီးများဟာအိုတချို့နေရတွေမှာအမျိုးသမီးသွားလို့မရအမျိုးသမီးများကိုပိတ်ပင်တဲ့အနေရတွေရှိတယ်အမျိုးသမီး
and you the me mia and in a bian bira janzago, and net deep with puny kama. Tia can yet pong the daha, a mute me yard machido, muda male she de. Ewaga do ye help us with a roga, oh, ninja a room ho. Jans are met from yam yam tone is a god helper. God is our helper. Pia can jamaro a system ho bow, jamaro go, the gay go sweat him up. ပြောင်းတင်တာမဟုတ်ပေါ်နေလဲဆွဲလို့ရတယ်ဘေးကနေလဲဆွဲတင်နိုင်တယ်ဆိုတော့ in down she lucine, Kalemashi de a me, so lucine, and Nanka and Mio a Mio Masu wrote, and Nanka yard, a Jamaric culture, the ma, she the loo. John's are the male, told Nila Gaume, Kalelo Jinjare. If you are barren woman, you are cursed. You are not blessed. Unless you bear children, unless you fulfill your role as a mother, you are not a blessed woman. And if you don't bear sons, you still are not blessed enough. You need to bear sons, lots of sons, bono. And I jamo jamo o jilo she traditional reading o jilo she sara sura teke o lumiat model mother lo thare na biro tu ga tu yau cha na ko tu light de tu yau cha zaka na thang de edi lumiu pacha de bono tu to nyal le jamo ro di ku feminist dia pian belo mien de le suin. The Sarah Abraham Ned Love now light on Yale to a deceit cool over a tongue you can yard as a two yard. Abraham took it to Lumia to go to Masolo to Mima to Nimalo, your at Kama, Harubia to go to ye harem dema tell I dare to harem dema to ye concubine slave deal and in a to Nigay are to your jar of this is a miala don yale to Mima Gadumia yet. Sex slave ya pshit toare ati go Sarah ga khangge ya re da di lo miyo re go jama roa hotho la re ka ma a miyo da mi diya ba lao a nain khangge ya da le pshit si da za da khu a nain ne sex object da khu nina bilo piu ka ya re so rao jama roo do ya re po no to ni la ga me di khali mui jin lo a ji lo Sarah na hai ga yao cha o lu da ro liya na recha di yao cha jao ne nya e po Oh, Chansia Raro, Dilumodia, Bajan, Bajan, yes, or Guna, Yodubet, Mima de Tamboha, two dema machine, two mude, Caliboma, Taboma, a shidao, Jamaro Duyare, Edo, the wives go chiloshi, wives go chiloshi, Jamaroa, the a maid out, no, Mima Jauga, two Tamboha, two dema machines at Duyare. Jamaro na amyaas pe jamaro naomi ne ruta ajao ho tei piro amonte ne tin zyaale kao maare moso ma teo niyao yong kaan piro astashiya this they struggle for their livelihood they have to work for their survival and they have to work within the parameters of how fem women should survive they have to go and go out and glean in the field bo no eri piengo ตัวตัวอัตรกะซิเคอริตี้มาเบมาเวชิเลยสวยยอกจ้าชิมาซิเคอริตี้ชิเลยบ่เออรอรู้ท่าก็ยอกจ้ายะบัวอะหลาปิ
ဒီကိုအမျိုးသမီးတွေကအချိန်လို့အနွန်တာခံရတယ်ဆုတ်ဆားရတယ်ဆက်ဆက်ကရိုင်ဆ်လို့ရတယ်ကိုလွတ်
and a moshe will be or a moshe up. She on it, time be mad, she asking time be a command. Right, they are right. They need, they have the right to the land. So, the stories they go, the thesis they are my blue popular lesson. Tomorrow, my ma, do music near him at the chun ma, a muimian, the mia, a muimian, I boo. Now, bro, yaw jas on the way, moso maga, do ye. เออยอกจ้ายะปิซีดิอยู่ไหนเนี่ยดีอยู่ยอกคัสเตอร์ไม่รอดิเอออะจังเอ็ดดิอยากดิโกบ่เนาะโอสกาเปียวเมซะลุ
many times women are very afraid to say no to their husbands, to their fathers, to their pastors, to their leaders. They nod their head and against their will, they are forced to do so many things. We hear of young girls being taken into Thailand and trafficked there. They dare not say no because their parents are too powerful. When the Levite put out his concubine to the men of the town, she dare not say no. She's only the wife. She has no voice, she has no power. She cannot say anything but comply. She is thrown out to the wolves outside. She cannot say no, but Vashti, Vashti is strong enough to say no. We don't know what happened to Vashti. She might have become a lesser queen or she might have been exiled or she might have been killed. We don't know, but she was strong enough to say no. So when we read the Bible and we see women who are strong enough to say no, this gives us that power to uh, feel that we also, we also can be like that. Leaders, the third categories of women are leaders. In God's image of the magazine, they are some of the article, but no, the Halder. Halder is a prophetess. And when the Josiah uh, was brought the lost scroll, the priest said, the only one who can say whether this scroll is authentic or not is Halder. We must take it to Halder. At that time, there were other male prophets. There was Jeremiah as well there. There were other, other prophets there. But no, it is to Halder. We must take the scroll because she has the authority. She has the wisdom, the knowledge to say whether the scroll is from God or not. So this is the leadership that Halder gives to her community. And then we come to women leaders in the New Testament. Mary, the mother of Jesus. We always think of Mary, Mary as meek and mild. But no, when she took on the role of being the mother of the Messiah, she agrees to joining a revolution against the Roman powers, revolution against all the principalities of evil and death. And she sings a song of liberation. A revolt song is not a song of submission. It's a song of revolt. God will uphold the mighty, uh, will uphold the poor and pull down the mighty from their throne. This is a song of liberation that she sings. And that is what Samakethi wrote in Delinda, the song of Mary. Jesus healed the bent woman on the Sabbath day, no less, breaking the rules, horrifying the leader of the synagogue. You could have done it on any other day, why on Sunday? And Jesus said, you would go and rescue an animal who was in trouble, but don't you see she is a daughter of Abraham? She is the same as you. She is a child of God. And the bent woman straightens herself. And many women think of the bent woman as a symbol of all women who are oppressed by so many circumstances, poverty, economic injustice, all kinds of oppression she has to bear so she is bent down. But it is Jesus who will make her stand, stand up straight and tall. 
And we know of the woman with the flow of blood. We know that menstruation blood has always been a taboo. That's why women are thought to be polluted. Women are unclean. But here, Jesus is touched by this unclean, what they think of as unclean woman. And she is healed. And he heals her because of her faith. The Samaritan woman, the one with whom Jesus has a long theological conversation, she becomes the very first evangelist in the gospel. She is the one who proclaims the gospel to her village. So they all come running out and meet Jesus and hears the gospel from the lips of Jesus. She is famed as becoming the very first missionary, the first evangelist. And the sisters, Mary and Martha, Mary is at the feet of Jesus, listening like a disciple. And Martha is the working person. Both kinds of ministries are needed to listen, to proclaim, and to do the work that needs to be done, to care for the poor, to feed the hungry. Those things go hand in hand together in the ministries of Mary and Martha. Mary Magdalene followed Jesus for a very long time, even to his crucifixion. And she was with the group of women who were the first witnesses of the resurrection. They were told to tell the others that Jesus had risen. So the very first um, magazine of the woman, MGC, the Women's Department called Meshuda. The cover picture was of the resurrection woman, the woman who proclaimed the resurrection of Jesus. And that issue was full of articles about how women are witnesses to the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And we also look at the women who were partners with Paul in his mission, Phoebe, Lydia, Priscilla and Aquila, Junior and Adronicus. They are all church leaders. They are all partners. They work mightily for the gospel together with Paul. Lillian Ju says, through Lydia, we can see the transforming power of the gospel that permits persons to be transformed. Not only people can be transformed, but also customs, conditions for living, attitudes and systems that humiliate and keep people in bondage. Today, more and more women are taking leadership roles in society, in the community, in the churches. We have Aung San Suu Kyi in Burma and in America very recently, Kamala Harris became the very first vice president, woman vice president of the United States. Jacinda Ardern of New Zealand, Angela Merkel of Germany, they are all women leaders. And in our churches, in our conventions and associations, we have more and more women taking up leadership positions. They are empowered by reading the gospel that show them the example of women who have gone before us, who live lives devoted to God and devoted to the people. So in conclusion, I just want to say that we have to challenge and we have to transform culture. And we have to do this. One way is through our feminist reading of the Bible. There are many elements of culture, our Burmese culture, our Myanmar culture, that is positive. We are very hospitable people. Anybody can come into a house and we welcome them at least with La Peja and Nibe. We honor our mothers. They are given a high position in the family. Yet there are still many 
elements in our culture that needs to be changed, that affects the life of the church and the life of society. And so we need to continue to read the Bible and be more inclusive and liberative in how we approach each other, to treat each other as equals, each one as a child of God, and to see to it that there is equality in our country, wherever we might be. Thank you.